everybody. It's uh, Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> We're uh, going back to work. I didn't ride the train today because we had to get to work. Like, get started. It's a good thing because I would have been still like riding the train right now. Oh. So, uh, yeah, we're driving to the job where we were doing painting before that we can't show you guys. And it's crazy out. It's like raining like blue blazes and people are driving like crazy faces. Driving so crazy in the like, rain. I can't this. believe it. No yeah. turn signal. Nothing. No lights. No lights. This, uh. this is the world we live in. Welcome to Florida. All you guys thought that it was all sunshine and happiness? Nope. Rain and terrible drivers. What was that? I don't know. There's like somebody's car is making announcements or something. Maybe it's the Blues Brothers. It kind of Blues Brothers behind us. It could be. I kind of felt like we were about to get on a ride. Oh, I thought we were gonna get it pulled like, over. It was like, por favor, Cialiano, me la suelta de la puerta. De la puerta. <laughs> I don't know. I apologize for my Spanish. De la puerta is my um, my Spanish uh, Mickey Mouse Cateers cover band. What? It's yeah. up the doors. Yeah. All right. Maybe it's my Spanish Doors cover band. All right. So we're done. It would done. be El Puertas. Oh, El Puertas. We are. We're all done with that. Not done with it. But no, we're done we for have the to night. go back. Yeah. Oh man, it is exhausting doing this. It's very tiring. Like I get up at 4 a.m., go to work, come home, get Jen, go back out to work some more, and now it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm sorry. We're driving home. And everybody on the road's a bad driver. But next month, we don't have anything going on. Yet. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to refuse anything next month. Good. I, say, I think no. that's a good idea. Unless you pay me in gum. Nobody ever pays me in gum. Or candy. Yeah. I had this weird craving for M&M's. Regular plain old M&M's. Like, as we were driving home, it just hit me and I could, like, taste them a little bit in my mouth. Oh. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I really want M&M's right now. <laughs> wow. Wow! Sorry, I wasn't filming you at all. My hand like went down. I had something in my eye. I think I have like some paint in my eye or something. That's not good. I know. So when I was trying to film you, my eyeball was being crazy. So I apologize. You know what's fun is what? hitting every single red light when you're driving home when you're really tired. Green light. Yeah, but not. It was just red. Like, just a few <laughs> seconds ago. English. So, uh, my eyeballs hurt too. Yeah. Teamwork. All right. Because my contacts need to get changed. This is just going to be a vlog of complaining. Yeah, let's complain some more. Let's go to the liquor tattoo. That's not a fun vlog. <laughs> uh, liquor tattoo sounds like a really bad idea. Right? Let's go drink a bunch of liquor and get a, a crazy tattoo. Like a face tattoo. Well, the good news is I hear that um, like tattoo removal is like super advanced nowadays. Where they can like, if you get a tattoo and like it just has a name in the bottom and then you don't want that name anymore. They can like pinpoint the name and just take the name out so you just have like your tattoo and then like a blank space. Yeah, but the thing about getting tattoos removed is that when, when they're done, you just have a scar in the shape of your tattoo. You know what else is the thing about You shouldn't because it's we supposed know. to... You it, do. It's not supposed to do anything to your skin. It's a burn. They See, burn you. That's not what it's supposed to do. But that's... How, you guys, I mean, you guys have seen it, right? On TV and stuff? Ah, uh, on TV. Well, I saw this whole True Life, MTV True Life, about how people were trying to get their tattoos removed so they could get real jobs. Which, you can have a real job with tattoos. But they wanted, like, they had crazy neck tattoos and face tattoos. And so they needed to get those removed. And it was so crazy. And, like, knuckle tattoos. And, like, his whole hand was a blister. And it looked painful. I heard that it was painful, but apparently, well, let me let me explain to you the way that getting a tattoo removed works. The laser shoots in through the skin and then pulverizes the ink at the um, molecular level, so that it has it becomes so such a small molecule that the body can then just absorb it with absorb it with white blood cells. Um, so I didn't think that that would cause a scar, but. I don't know, I've never had it done. Yeah, well it does, because I saw it on TV. Yeah. So the good news is, tomorrow, we're having a party. And the video is gonna show you guys all about it. So we're gonna have a nice long video tomorrow, even though this one's a little bit short, and I'm sorry for that, but you guys know the situation that we're in. So, I'm gonna go to bed, because I'm really tired now. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.